So we, we are seeing what's buzzing in the Beehive State. This is a pretty serious story. Yeah, it's a big one and definitely something that people have been following, not just for months, for years now. Mm -hmm. In Utah, really all over, Chad Daybell's trial has been buzzing. It started today. The Idaho prosecutor calling his crimes a doomsday triple murder, quote, fueled by sex, money, and power. Daybell accused of killing his first wife, Tammy, and two children of Lori Vallow Daybell, J.J. Vallow, and Tylee Ryan. Prosecutors say he viewed them as obstacles to his future with Lori. Tammy died in October of 2019. Chad and Lori married two weeks later. Friends told detectives the pair believed they had been reincarnated and they were gathering people for a biblical apocalypse. The two kids' bodies were eventually found buried in Daybell's yard. This defendant believed he had a right beyond the ordinary. When he had a chance at what he considered his rightful destiny, he made sure that no person or no law would stand in his way. His desire for sex, money, and power led him to pursue those ambitions. And this pursuit led to the deaths of his wife and Lori's two innocent children, their spouses, Lori's own children, and any who opposed them were labeled sometimes as dark spirits or even zombies. Mm. So obviously intense there, and of course this happening after Lori Vallow Daybell, she was already put on trial, she was already found guilty. Yeah. Well, Chad Daybell's defense attorney says he'll prove there is no DNA evidence linking him to the children's deaths and that several of Chad's children themselves will testify on his behalf. You'll remember Lori Vallow Daybell again, she was found guilty of the murders of her two children last May in Idaho, sentenced to three Life sentences without parole. Now in Arizona, awaiting trial for conspiracy to commit murder. Also accused of trying to kill her niece's ex-husband and for the death of her fourth husband, Charles Vallow. One thing that's different between the two trials, the death penalty was removed from Lori's, but if convicted, Chad Daybell could be put to death. Both bizarre cases have captured national attention. A lot of eyes certainly have been on this trial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's so sad uh, to see all of this unfold and, of course, the innocent lives that were taken.